Hello, ladies and gents. If there are any gents tuning into this podcast, welcome to the very first episode of My Body Talk Show. I am your host, Celia Lee, and I'm also the founder of My Body. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I really hope you enjoy this. So this episode will be me introducing myself to give you my background, my stories, how I got into fitness industry and working with women only and how I got inspired to start this podcast and what this podcast is about. So keep listening. So here are a few facts about me. I am Chinese. I was born in Sweden. I came to the UK when I was seven with my family. I am a personal trainer. And I've been a personal trainer since 2016. Before that, I was in the events industry. I um, was working with startups, entrepreneurs, mainly in the fintech industry. So, yeah, I was like in the techie world sort of thing. But I was working on all events. It could be like um, pitching events, um, networking, um, things they call demo day, summits and all of that. So like, I was like small to large scale events. I freaking loved it. But you're thinking, why did you? change your career to being a PT then? One, because I have done everything I wanted to do in the events industry. But that's not the end of the events because I have plans to get back into events for myself. Anyway, that's a whole another story. Let's not talk about that. So anyway, let me take you to my fitness journey as to, as to how I became and why, in fact, no, how I, why I became a PT. Simply because I want to use fitness to empower women. Empower women. So let me t- tell you the story about this is going back to 2013. So now let me tell you this. When I was in school, I wasn't very like great at sports. <laughs> um, the only thing that I did do was netball in primary school. That was the only thing. Um, I never thought I would become PT. I would never lift weights back then. I, was just, I used to be a girl that would basically be afraid to lift weights, thinking if I lift weights, I'll believe I'll get butch, I'll look like a man and all of that. Um, so if I was to go gym, it would only be, be um, like towards summer or during summer. Come winter now, I'll be hibernating. That's the kind of person I was, yeah. And if I was to if I was to go gym, it was cardio, doing abs, working legs and bums, and upper body was like no way am I lifting weights, yeah. So it was, that was me. So going to 2013 now, my boyfriend at the time, he um took me to a bodybuilding gym. Okay, he wanted to train me up, so he took me to the bodybuilding gym now. And like I said, I'm someone that don't lift weights. So you take so someone taking me to body to body to a bodybuilding gym. How scary is that? And I was like, this guy's mad. Anyway, so I actually said to him, like, babes, is is does women even go to this this, this gym? I don't see no women. And he's like, yes, babe, <laughs> there is. Don't worry. Otherwise, they wouldn't they wouldn't let you in with there. I'm like, that's true. So anyway, so now the first very first exercise, the very first exercise he got me doing is a pull up. Okay, for those who don't know what a pull up is, which I'm so sure everyone does, but anyway, let me just basically is you jump like you pull yourself your own body weight up when you um you jump onto onto a bar and you pull yourself you pull yourself up um, your own body weight, yeah. Just in case for those who don't know what, what I mean by pull up. Anyway, so he literally took me to this cable machine. I was like, babe, jump, uh, do a pull up. And I was like, okay. I'm, I, te- I, I swear to God. At first I was like, okay, pull up. Let me try. I, I wasn't, I didn't think I couldn't do it. But I was just like, why are you telling me the first exercise? You're telling me to do a pull up. So anyway, so I jumped up. As I jumped up to grab the bar now, I fell back down. I couldn't hold it. Because I just didn't have the strength to hold myself up. And he goes to me, hold it, don't let go. I was like, I can't hold myself. He goes, what? I'm like, yeah, I can't hold it. Anyway, now. So he goes, jump again, I'll help you. And he, so he held, held me up. So I now I was holding it. Now he goes, pull up. I was like, I can't move. I literally could not move one muscle. Like, I was just there, like there, hanging. <laughs> and he was like, he goes, rah, your upper body is so weak. Like, no strength. I was like, yeah. So then he started training me doing like things like clean and press, like border, uh, like basically all, all upper body stuff. Yeah. And I would go to gym by myself to train legs, but not building bodybuilding gym. I'll go somewhere else and do that. Anyway, so 
after a few months, obviously, well, I, in fact, after like three weeks, I started seeing like definitions on my back and my arms. And I was like, shit, okay. Didn't think I could get like muscles. Didn't, didn't know I had these kind of muscles. But anyway, um, then a few months later, I tried to do a push up. I was able to go halfway down. I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, like, Never thought I could do even a half a push up. Anyway, actually, let me just clarify that. It's on the knees, yeah, not on the feet, on the knees. Anyway, so then a few months later, I thought, let me try. So, oh, by the way, so every single time we go gym, I'm talking about we train like three times a week. He will always get me to do, do pull ups, dips, and push ups. I hated those exercises with a passion, okay? But he, was, he would just force me doing them. I'm glad he did, actually. Anyway, so. After um, I think about six, seven months now, I thought, let me give you a try. Let me let me give this pull up a try. So I jump up and I manage and I jerk myself up. I know it's a bit, it's kind of cheating, but remember this: when I first started, I couldn't even hold myself. Yeah, I couldn't even hang. And the fact that I jumped and managed to jerk myself up, oh my goodness, I was empowered. I was so gassed. I was like, shit them. Um, I can actually do a pull up. But yeah. So that's when I got I was felt so empowered and my confidence started to develop. The way I spoke, the way I stood up, like walking, it was like you could just tell I was more of a confident person. Yeah. But before that I was like quite insecure, like no body confidence and all of that. So yeah. So anyway, so then now that I realized that, you know what, if fitness can help me get mentally stronger and physically stronger, I know there are so many women out there that is just like me, not believing in themselves and, st- and, and believe that lifting weights will make them look manly, which is not even true, um, and will definitely feel empowered and get the, and they need and and feel be more confident once they step in the gym and learn how to, you know, lift weights and actually believe in themselves, know that they can do the stuff that they always think only men can do. And that's why I decided to become PT because I thought, let me become a PT and empower women, train women to empower them. So I decided, yep, and I enrolled myself onto the course. Six months later, I was a PT. And so, yeah, and then... uh. But I didn't. I did train men. Start off with. I did train men and women. It's only like I think 2020. Or no, sorry, 2021. Yeah, so it's still quite recent. 2021. That's when I decided. At beginning of 2021, I decided that my niche. Um, I need to go back to my why. Yeah, which is the niche should be women. So yes, I went back to my why. And ladies and gents, if you ever feel lost in whatever you do. Yeah, go back to your why. Go back to why you started. Brainstorm it. Maybe take a day off or whatever. Go back to your why. You'll definitely be able to find that passion again and find your direction again. I'm telling you, ever since I went back to my why, it has been going so well for me. I'm so grateful. Anyway, so that's my fitness journey. But the confident self, the, the confident self, the confident Celia, the baddie Celia, wasn't just because of fitness. It was one of them. That was the first thing that helped me. But what really shaped me as a person, what made me become this baddie today, is dancing. Uh, in 2019, I started um, taking dance classes. I've always liked to dance, but properly like take dance classes in heels was what helped me so um when i say so you might be thinking what's hills dancing basically yeah you hit dancing hills think beyonce um so then yeah so i go into these hills classes and it most of them are quite sensual they actually somehow empowered me when in fact not just me many women out there can tell you so ever since they start hills dancing it has empowered them to t- to get in touch with their feminine energy their feminine side their sensuality be comfortable with the sensuality Le- know how be comfortable with being sexy yeah so that's what i mean so dancing has developed another t- another type of confidence in me but one where i became like 
how do I put it? Like, not give a fuck sort of thing. I've always had a not give a fuck attitude to bonds of you. But um, I always call this like the breakthrough moment for me. Um, this is going back to 2020, the first lockdown. So during that lockdown, everyone's doing classes online. Um, so teaching classes online and um, dance classes online. So my teacher she wanted to do a little project so I got a few of us girls together well not together but like online zoom she then sent us a piece of choreography that we had to learn everyone had to wear the same outfit or similar outfit anyway and then we had to film it outdoors and then we sent our footage to her and she put it together yeah so that was a little project and we had to do some posing shots and I when I was looking back at those posing shots of myself it was that point I was like shit is that me yet? Is that me? I was finding my angles. I don't know what it was about that moment, but I was finding it and I was just feeling myself. Like, n not that I didn't think I was beautiful before, but this time it was just different. I don't know what it was, but I was just feeling different. I was just empowered. So anyway, ever since then, I'm telling you so, like whenever we go out or whatever I am, I say, well, I want to do for, like, you know, for, for, whether it's for dance or just me going out with our girls, when it comes to taking photos, I'll be like slaying it. You can ask my girls, yeah. <laughs> I'm like doing photo shoot everywhere. Yeah, like even like, for example, going to the beach. I don't, I wouldn't give a fuck if there's people watching. I would actually pose on the beach, guess, like, like get my friends to take pictures of me or whatever, or video me. And even when I went away by myself to Fuerteventura by myself, I actually had the phone there on this, um, like usually with a tripod there. And then I just walked away at a distance and just, um, and just posed, didn't care, you know? Because in my, my mentality is if they want to look, if, some, if these people want to look, give them something to look. That's it, you know what I mean? Anyway, so that's it about me, uh, about my confidence, my journey. So I'm also working towards um, to becoming a feminine embodiment coach, uh, which is basically using my experience and knowledge and all that to help women so empower women, elevate women to to be comfortable with the sensuality, teach about self-love, body confidence, all of that. Basically, teach women to become, not to sorry, not I don't want to say teach, like empower women to become that baddie. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. Why did I start this podcast? Same reason I became a PT. Just I want to use this platform to build a community, use the platform to spread the word and, you know, yeah, empower women. So so that leads to what this podcast is going to be about. I'll be going to be talking about, to be honest, everything, pretty much everything. Any topics that I feel like is going to be benefiting you queens out there. Fitness, nutrition, um, giving tips and advice about self-love, self-worth, body confidence, you know. And I will be inviting guests, um, industry experts, friends and what not and whatever whoever think whoever i believe so i'm gonna say think whoever i believe have some sort of value you know to give on this show so yeah and uh, definitely there will be all sorts of emotions to be honest there will be like there'll be like i'm telling you there are going to be jokes you'll be laughing there'll be times where um you will be like yep snapping your fingers i'll get you snapping your fingers you'll be nodding yes yes bitch like yeah yeah Tell them, tell them all that kind of stuff. You hear different versions of me. You might even hear, hear like me getting angry and even probably me like hearing tears and stuff like that because I'll be sharing some personal stories. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for listening. And also, but before I wrap up, I just want to say thank you to my clients, thank you to my friends and family. When I say family, only the media family. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I just had to make that clear um for like for the love and support this podcast would not have started is it what if it wasn't for them I always say to my clients my body would not exist so my company's called my body my body wouldn't exist if it, if it even wasn't if it wasn't because of them because they all inspire me because their stories so when I train when we have a PT sessions when we have our talks our talks are usually quite deep what they tell me, our topics and everything, they give me ideas. Oh, I need to do this. I might need to do this. Do, 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 do you know what I mean? You're all inspired. And so I just want to say thank you so, so much. And when I told you that I was going to launch a podcast, I had so much love and support. And it was amazing. 
And oh my God, let me just tell you something quickly about this podcast before I go. This podcast actually recorded a few days before the launch day. So, okay, beginning of this year, um, um, 2022, I actually wrote down my goals that one of the things I want to do this year is launch a podcast. But at the time when I wrote it, I wasn't sure of doing it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it. I think, as in, not, not that I didn't want to do it. It's more like, I don't know if I could make it happen. It was self-doubt. I was doubting myself because I just, I don't, I think I was so focused on the how and I don't know um, how I could make it happen. But that's another thing. Don't be attached to the how. Don't think, don't worry about the how. It's none of your business. <laughs> none of your business. Yeah. Just believe and it will happen. And well, that's another thing. Are we talking about spirituality as well? All of that kind of stuff. Yeah. And the feminine energy, dating advice, relationship, all of that. So that's what I'm saying. I'll be talking about everything. Yeah. Anyway. And then, um, so anyway, now two weeks ago, talk about like um, mid-October, I went to Fuerte Ventura for my birthday went there by myself yes i'm a libra 11th october okay so pick up yourself if you're a libra in october baby anyway and then i was brainstorming my business there and then that's when i brought back the idea of podcasting i said to myself celia fuck it just do it do the damn thing man start the podcast what what is there to lose so i decided yep i'm gonna do it and I said to myself, I need to have a launch date. So 29th of October was the first date that came to mind. I don't know why, but I needed a launch date because I know otherwise it won't happen. So I did it. So came back from the holiday and um, thank God my, um, my good friend of mine gave me a mic. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm recording <laughs> this literally a few days before the launch day. But anyway, thank you so much. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please, please tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell your, your family, your friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, everyone about this podcast. Share it, follow, subscribe and follow me on Instagram. My personal one is I am dot Celia Lee and my body one is at mybody.uk. Until next time. Love you.